Hello friends welcome in this video we are going to learn about how we can use hyperlinks in ms powerpoint application in ms powerpoint application we can use the shortcut key control plus k to insert any hyperlinks so to make you understand on this topic i am going to take the inspiration from apple official website i am going to consider as a watches and uh, i'll show you how you can use hyperlinks in this case so to collect any pictures from any website to take the screenshot you might be using the regular shortcut key print screen from the keyboard right so when you press control uh, when you press a print screen entire screen will be captured but i want a specific area to be captured so for this i will be using an application known as lightshot so you all just download and install lightshot in your computers so while you know if you want to press print screen now after downloading installation you can select any area which you like to copy so i am going to use lightshot application to collect pictures from the website yeah so the address is that app. prntscr.com where you can download the lightshot application yeah now we'll go to our main one yeah so just consider in the slide number 1 i'm going to make a home page so i just want home page from the website so i'm just going to print screen i'm going to collect the home page information so i'm just going to take control plus c copy and then control v paste and here i am going to adjust this image to my slide background yeah so now to see the preview i am going to press f5 now this is the screen preview and after that i am going to again insert a new slide by pressing control plus m control plus m for to insert a blank slide and select unnecessary sections and delete the button now in the second slide i want to show all the products so all the products are what here i have the products there are three products are available so i'm just going to take a print screen of the first one first one copy and i'll go i'm going to paste here and after pasting here double click on the image to get image you know image editing tools from there i'm going to uh, click on the button size uh, extension there i'm going to remove the logs i'm going to keep it exactly under 8 by 8 8 height again 8 width that is a standard size i'm using for the first image first watch again i am going to take the second picture as well for second picture also control c copy control v paste and go to size extension i am going to unlock existing size logs i am going to take it to 8 by 8 and i keep it at center of the arc slide i am going to take the third picture i just copy control c copy control v paste and here i am going to take exact space between the slides and first i am going to change the size remove the logs and the size will be 8 by 8 yeah and i am going to fit under exactly on the same row so this is a place where you can see all the product information and i am going to duplicate it by selecting slide 2 i am going to press control plus d for a duplicate here in the next slide first i wanted to explain about the black colored watch so i am going to select the remaining two watches i'll go to picture format sizes where i am going to reduce the size to 2 by 2 and i am going to put it under at the corner of the page yeah and here uh, now i am going to increase the size to 14 by 14 so this is the bit longer because in this page i wanted to explain about this watch so here i need some explanation as well so i am going to collect the information of the respective product so i am just going to copy paste here and you also can customize the colors you also can change the font face style right whatever changes you want to change you can just apply i am going to make it to 30 size 
yeah this is the apple watch series uh, series 8 from 30 size and for more information i'm just going to copy extra information i'm going to paste down to it yeah so this is the additional information of the product and i'm also going to uh, will i know in the next slide i'll show you how you can add buy button as well as of now we'll keep explaining items one by one again i'm going to select a slider to duplicate and i'll drop it to four you know fourth position and here the black one and the orange one select and go to picture format and i'm going to reduce to two by two yeah and again i'll keep them in a corner and here i'm going to explain about the white colored watch considered as white yeah that's fine and the size of the image uh, should be 14 by 14 yeah that is the regular size which we are using and then i'll go to collect the picture information copy and paste here and the size of this information i selected as 30 so i'll go back to size and i'll keep it 30 yeah and for additional information collect the additional information copy and paste here in the next line yeah and that's fine next again go to all products page ctrl d for duplicate and this time here i'm going to select the black and the and white color watch i'm going to reduce the size to two by two i'm going to reduce the size to two by two and i'll keep them in a corner i'll put them in a corner size yeah and there i'm going to highlight the orange one the size will be 14 by 14 i'll keep it at center of the page and to collect information i'm going to take that information copy and paste yeah and i'll increase the size to maximum of 30 that is size and you also can change this color i collect the additional information copy and paste in the bottom yeah so to you also can change this font color as well select them and go to format and there you can go to text fill you know eyedropper that orange color so that orange color will be changed likely you also can apply for all kind of watches as well just to make you understand i'm going to press f5 so this is the home page where we have the introduction seed and then we have the all products pages and then we have each one uh, apple and then we have the silver watch apple watch se and then we have apple ultra watch apple watch ultra so here i wanted to create the buttons and also i want to provide a link for it So in the home page, first I'm going to I'm going to insert the buttons for all these pages. I'll go to insert tab. I go to shapes. I'm going to collect a shape. I'm just going to draw over here. So I'm going to draw. Yeah. So here I wanted to add uh, one, two, three, four, and five buttons. I wanted to add five buttons. So go to insert tab shapes and the first button I'm going to draw over the shape. I'll, I'll, I know I'll first I'm going to change this shape color to white. So I'll go to shape format. I'll go to white background. There I will draw. Go to insert shapes and first one I draw here. Yeah, that will be the first one. One copy and paste. Copy paste again. This will be the third button. Let's copy paste again. This will be the fourth button, copy paste again and this will be the fifth button. I am just going to increase, uh, I am just going to reduce the size also, yeah. So let's say this will be the first one, will be the home tab. So right click and go to edit text, there I am going to type as home, yeah. Home, that will be the home, next one, right click and go to edit text, there I am going to see view all and by selecting that i'm going to reduce the size to 14 or else i'll reduce to 11 that is the view all and then i'm going to select the third button go to frame format let's say this is the third button i wanted to link to black colored watch so go to shape wheel as a black one and the next button that will be the silver one so i'll go there and i'll be selecting the silver color and fourth button i'll go to shape fill and i'll go for orange color as orange color is not available i'll go to shape fill i'll go to i will go to the option of recent color no fill more fill color options there i'm going to choose the orange one i'm going to choose the orange one and then okay yeah that color has been preset now we are going to apply the hyperlinks first you have to understand 
the slide number one for home page view all products second slide black colored watch third slide silver or yeah, white color watch fourth slide orange for fifth slide so in the first slide i am going to add the buttons by selecting home tab control plus k and i am going to bookmark connect it to slide 1 and ok ok next i am selecting view all this view all products are available under second page so select view all control plus k go to bookmark slide 2 and ok and ok next this black color watch available on third slide so select the shape control plus k go to bookmark slide number 3 and ok and ok next i am going to select the next slide control plus k that will be the silver explain on fourth slide so go to bookmark and go to slide 4 and ok and ok and the orange one available on the fifth slide so select orange shape control plus k go to bookmark i am going to slide number 5 and ok and ok yeah so now i am going to again copy paste all these buttons in all the pages so first i am going to just select shift plus just select what shift plus selection shift select 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 i have selected all the five buttons Control c copy the slide two paste slide three also paste slide four also paste slide five also paste i have pasted now to check the preview i'm going to press f5 so we are on f5 we are on the home page to move it manually go to enter so we are on the second slide all products and if you once click on the black color you will get the black watch information if you click on the silver color silver color you will get silver white color information and if you click on orange you will get orange watch information if you click on view all you will be going to view all product and if you go to home you will be going to home page to make it more uh, more clean and clear i'm going to select all the slides i'm going to transition there i'm going to apply mark functionality okay i'm going to apply mark functionality and make sure i have applied a transition of mark but i'm not activating on mouse click because i don't want to play this animation automatically to play this animation automatically you require to remove on mouse click but i will keep on mouse click because i wanted to use only the buttons not automatic play okay so after activating mark i'm going to press f5 now we are on the slide number one from this slide number one i am going to click on view all products this is the page where i have all product information and from here if i click on the button orange directly orange watch will be opened and the remaining two watches will go to corner if i click on the black one i will be getting black color watch information is it clear and you also can uh, by selecting all of them if you see it is moving it's a little fast you can just simply select all of them and go to transition and there i am going to increase the transition time to up to a uh, five seconds now i press f5 i'll go to this time view all products so when you go to view all products it will be going a little slow because i have reduced the timing also now from view all products if you click on the button orange that will be going in a little slow manner okay so that how simple you can enable hyperlinks in ms powerpoint application not only to that let's say if i click on orange image i want to open to orange now we have created only to what only to shapes we have linked right you also can create a link for your images also so now let's say in the, in the you know in the second slide we have three products so if i click on orange orange watch page should be open so control plus k and go to bookmark orange page available on slide 5 and ok and ok and play now let's say let's say i'm going to i'm going to uh, second slide in the second slide can see here the black colored watch and white color watch only the 
you know only the mouse cursor has been shown but when you keep your when you just move your cursor upon the uh, orange color watch you, you will be getting a hand symbol where hyperlink is available if you once click on that hand symbol you will directly you will be getting that thing so either you can use the buttons or you also can directly click on the same thing so likely you also can add the buy now button i'll go to insert i'll go to shapes i'll go to buttons i'm going to add a button as well so i'll change to again shape fill to the orange one yeah and right click and go to edit text here i'm going to add by information by as a text so by as a text to connect it to that website i'm going to collect the website address control c copy and i close this website and there i'll go to control k uh, or else right click and go to hyperlinks where i'm going to paste the hyperlink address and okay that's it so in future let's say i'm going to the orange uh, i'll go to the view all first from view all i will be going to orange watch yeah so if you want to go to ultra watch page where you also can find out the buy now button if you want to click on buy now from powerpoint you will be navigated you will be navigated to apple watch official website where you can purchase the product as well is it clear so this is how simple we can enable hyperlinks in ms powerpoint application if you wanted to disable hyperlinks so after working with hyperlinks you know if you know due to any reason if you don't like to continue them just uh, let's say we have enabled for buy now right click and go to remove link if you want to click on the remove link that will be removed or else and you can press control plus k and go to here where you can see remove link if you want to click on the button remove link that link will be removed so that button will not be working in further okay so this is how simple we work with the hyperlinks in ms powerpoint application thank you